What's up folks? Welcome back to a t welcome back to another video tutorial today. And today we're going to be teaching you how to edit levels in Kid Chameleon using Kid Edit and Kid Tool. .exe application programs. They're usually they're usually .exe applications, but they're just they're not named .exe, they're just named just Kid Edit and just Kid Tool. But doesn't matter which, but yeah. Yeah. And... Alright. So let's begin, folks. So so as you can see, we'll have we have kit edit and kid tool and our clean ROM. Actually, our kid chameleon ROM, our dot medium file, and our theme, and our dot text, and our data, and our map, as we got here. But you could, but you could just only download all this from the kid chameleon wiki website. Just type in, just like you did with Claw Noob's uh, tutorial, like you did. So, folks, let's begin this tutorial. So first, what you're gonna do, since have if you ha since you have all this out, or have any users, wherever you are, we're gonna drag our map into Kit first. Yep, and this opens. So um, okay. So to get rid of this help right here, this appears in the startup uh, with Kit Edit. So if you want to get rid of this, you just tap F1. And F1 just shows you the help controls. Alright, so we're gonna first start with the tile editing. So if tile editing just takes a long time, you could just click plus I you could just click uh, minus or plus, switch into tiles. But if you wanna copy them and paste them is easy. You just you just you, you just tap C to copy, and you tap P to paste. See, it's easy, and um, it just tap some tiles like paste, a few ones, and there's also a delete. Uh, but if you want to delete some tiles, you just tap this delete key. But not backspace, just delete on this four, three, six button uh, on your keyboard, whatever computer you have. And there's and there will be a delete one here, but that's not just for the tiles. It's just only for the blocks only. So, okay. Or I'm just gonna copy some tiles. Copy some tiles here. Let me just um, copy and paste some tiles here, because it's really easy to edit the tiles if you have a long time editing. So that's really easy. Um, Claude doesn't know how to he hex edit, but. I'm just like, um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know how to hex edit, it, so. It's, wow, it's awesome. All right, grab some slopes. You can copy that, and you can just click paste to paste the tiles. Oops, sorry. And you tap U to undo. And let's grab some prize and you could just grab one of these blocks from those those thingamajigs. And whenever a um, block you have, as you can see, there's the asterisks. You can use the asterisks. You just use these asterisks to scroll through what type of block you have. And you'll click, and you can click minus or plus to see what the 
to change what section it's going to be hidden. Um, to, to change it as hidden, you can click. Uh, you could just, I mean, you could just tap uh, minus or plus to make this as a hidden block. So let me just add a price block and um, and for disguise, I'll just make it disguised, and it's going to be a berserker helmet. And let me just move some blocks right here. Let's add some type of drill blocks. This one's going to be an up one. And for and for if you want to make hidden paths, here's a collision block. And also for collision blocks, you could just use these to scroll through and change plus I'm um, minus or plus to change what the value of a collision block is. That's really cool. To make hidden paths, you always need this collision block here. That's here. Um, okay. But also, um, um, you can also um, move the flag as well, just like you did in Claw Noob's tutorial. I knew it, but. Let me just put the flag. Let me just put it right here. All right. And if you want to save the changes, you're just gonna tap S. And if you and after you tap S, it should say that is saved. And if we and if you and to X out of it, you're just gonna tap Escape. Oops, sorry, it just stopped working because of a problem. But we'll ignore that. Oh well, oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry about that. Alright. Alright, this is because. Alright. Next, all you need to do is go to your um, home button, go to your user that you're currently on, which is on the top here. And then what you're going to do, you're going to drag all of this into your users next command prompt and first and first and first we're gonna put com we're gonna put kid tool into command prompt tap a space and drag your and um and copy the ROM and and put the ROM into command prompt, tap another space, tap minus or dash, then you then you just and then you're just gonna type in import then enter. And it should say and it should say starting level, pointer to level order, map pointers, level order, level data, and it should say I'm pending map for A title layout and just a block or whatever that's called um we're not going to ignore that but we're excited to command prompt and now we're going to test our rom and see if it works all right let's see if it works and yes it does Alright, and as you can see, it's screen black. That's because, or if you're on a telepad, it just stays as yellow or black because that's because if you don't have any maps in your folder, it just has no other levels to go to. So, and so as well. Um, okay, so the next video we're doing on the next one is teaching you how to edit enemies in the game. In the game, how to uh, edit enemies in the how to edit enemies in the game? As you can see, you need to you do some hex editing, which I'm really good at it. So I'm gonna do that tutorial um, later, 
or maybe tomorrow or some other some other day. Uh, but um, anyways, um, looks it looks like that is pretty much it. So the next video is going to be um, how to edit levels and change the titles. I mean, I mean, edit enemies and change the level title in the hex editor in the game in in the game in the game of Kid Camellia. So that's the end, folks. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial video how to edit levels and and um and make your own levels in the Kid Chameleon ROM using Kid Edit and Kid Tool. So that is it for today. See you next time. That is the end, folks. And we'll see you guys later. That is the end, folks.